Gordina has an initial amount of $50 in her checking account. She writes a check for $90 and deposits a check for $500. What is Gordina's new balance in dollars? She begins with $50, and then she writes a check for $90, which means her balance is decreased by $90, which we can express as minus 90. And then she deposits a check for $500, which means her balance now increases by $500, which we can express as plus 500. The value of this numerical expression will give us Bredina's new balance. To determine this difference, if it's helpful, we can rewrite minus 90 as plus negative 90 because subtracting a positive is equivalent to adding a negative. So if we need to, or if it's helpful, we can write the expression as 50 plus negative 90 plus 500. Whichever way we look at this, 50 minus 90 or 50 plus negative 90 is equal to negative 40. This simplifies to negative 40 plus 500 and negative 40 plus 500 equals 460. So Bertina's new balance is $460. Next, we're told to let C equal the initial amount in Bertina's checking account in dollars, write an expression that represents Bertina's new balance in terms of C. Well, we were first told the initial balance was $50, which is this amount here, and now we're told to let this amount equal C. So if we substitute C for 50, we have the expression C minus 90 plus 500, which is the expression for Rodina's new balance in terms of C. But we need to combine like terms by combining the constant terms. And again, if it's helpful, we could rewrite this as C plus negative 90 plus 500. Either way, negative 90 plus 500 equals 410. The expression simplifies to C plus 410. And notice how if we substitute 50 for C, we do get 50 plus 410, which does equal 460. I hope you found this helpful.